Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Sellner here with head football coach Jason Aubrey. Coach, homecoming weekend is always a fun one. It was a good crowd. Unfortunately, the weather turned pretty quickly and early in the day. Made it for an interesting day. Both teams had troubles with drops, holding on to the football. It was a wet turf. It kind of, it was an interesting wet turf, but your overall thoughts on a tough loss? Um, it, it's, it's tough to come in and give, me, give thoughts when the, it was just a tough day in general. You know, we, we opened up and we, um, you know, went out to a nine point lead right away. And, um, you know, in, in a different situation, you know, that could have been a, you know, 14 point lead, but, um, you know, things happen in, in uh, a day like that. And it's football, you play outside and, and you've got, they've got the same weather that you got to play in. So, but unfortunately, a lot of the balls didn't bounce our way, and uh, we, we had some mental errors, and, and, um, and it was tough. Um, you know, it, it was cold, it was rainy and, and windy, and, but like I said, they played in it too, and, and um, they got the upper hand and um, put a couple more scores in than we did. And um, like I said, it's tough, but hey, the best thing about football is you got next week. Yeah, they took advantage, it, especially, and I was saying it, off camera a little bit, they kind of contained Lance. And it's the first time we can say a team's contained him. Sure. Granted, he still had 151 yards. But when there's the drops like we talked about a little bit on the offensive side, a couple errant throws, all of a sudden they're putting seven, eight in the box. And they Absolutely. kept him from being the Lance. And that's, and that's exactly what happens. You know, when, when you become one-dimensional, um, it's, it's kind of hard to be able to, um, you know, get those, break those big, big runs and everything. And, and, um, and that's where it was tough they knew that the only way we could move the ball was handing the ball off and trying to trying to run the ball um and even though we did try to throw a little bit you know with the weather the way it was it's that ball was like throwing a brick you know and so we we tried it and um didn't work and hey it's it, they're, they're not excuses it just that's just the way the game was and when you have rain games like that you got to come out and you got to win the field position and unfortunately we're, we weren't able to win the field position but uh, but Lance was still Lance and busted his butt to uh, get the yards that he that he did and and um, you know we tried to switch some things up we brought Griff in and tried to have him uh, run around a little bit too just as a change of pace and everything and um, you know we moved the ball a little bit but uh, once again just a, a rough day in general. Yeah, and you got to give credit to that CW offense. They were able to find a way to get to the end zone. A team that wasn't known for rushing the ball very well rushed for over 200 yards. Right. A little bit of credit there, but defensively, what was kind of what was the team seeing out there? Well, what happened? Um, we've we're, we're playing a lot of um, a lot of our backup guys. Mm -hmm. um, we've got uh, a lot of injuries on defense right now, which. Um, you know, you can't use it as an excuse, but it is what it is. You know, each each of the um, position groups, our D line, our linebackers, and our uh, defensive backs, were missing uh, major guys from each one of those groups. So um, having guys come in and, and and you have to have the mentality next guy up. You know, and and that's kind of what we're going th going to. And um, but um, but we miss a guy like Matt Henning. You right. know, we miss a guy like Keyshawn Paisley, um, Tyler Creamer, these guys, Earl McIntyre, these guys who have been making plays for us all year, and each one of those guys, um, when they're not on the field, you can tell. But we need to have our other guys step up and make plays now, you know. So we have to have that next man up mentality and, and be, be able to go these last three games and, and make plays. You guys have the final home game of the 2019 schedule. Crazy to think that we started this already yeah, seven weeks ago when we started yeah. talking that this will be the last time talking about a game in front of the Concordia home right. crowd. Wisconsin Lutheran comes to town, a team that, again, on paper match up well with. They are a team that struggled a little bit scoring defensively kind of all around. But maybe that's a, a using a loss to CU Dub as a good learning opportunity for a young team that you're taking on right mm -hmm. now going into a week, again, probably favored on paper, but knowing that if you don't show up and play your A game, you're going to lose. And that's it. And that, that's what I was just going to say. You, we cannot afford to go into any game going, oh, we're better than these te this team. We don't even have to practice this week. You know what I'm saying? We have to come in and we have to make sure that our practice today on Tuesday is, is a great practice to prepare for, for Saturday. We can't take anybody lightly at this point. Um, Wisconsin Lutheran has some good things. They've got, they've got a decent quarterback. They've got a decent running back. They've got a decent offensive line. Uh, their defense plays well. They've got a linebacker that's a very good athlete. Um, we've got to be able to 
find things that we can do offensively and defensively to combat what they do. You know, and and I think we have. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I always, you know, we take that first day, and you know, you you, uh, you if you if you win, you're excited. If you lose. You, you're down in the dumps, whatever, you get rid of it, and then you go in Monday, game plan now, I'm excited again. I'm excited, I can't wait for Saturday, because I think we've got a plan in place, and I think that we're gonna move the ball, and I think that we're gonna stop them, and we're gonna win on Saturday. So it's an exciting, I'm still excited. I think our season is still, you know, uh, we've had a great season, and we're not satisfied with it, and we're gonna move forward. And going on, because just because you played in the weather, now that we're playing into November, weather becomes a factor, especially Absolutely. cold. How do you get this team ready? Forecast looks like no rain. All good for that. <laughs> we'll take but that. it's also supposed to be 36 degrees. Sure. How do you kind of get that team? You can't really make that happen if it, the weather doesn't right. do that until game day. Right. But mentally be ready because, again, to not be one-dimensional, you got to be able to throw the ball right. and kind of move around. How do you kind of get the team ready to be able to – combat the element. So we've already discussed that and, and the biggest thing that we have to do is before you go on the field and I'm talking practice, I'm talking you know games, I'm ta whatever, you have to beat it mentally and that's, that's where you have to beat it because if you come, you're coming out on the practice field and going, oh it's going to be cold out there, I, I, I'm not going to practice hard and everything, then you've already lost. You know, and that's what we have to do. We have to, you have to beat it mentally and know that when you get out there, once you warm up, you don't even feel the cold. And there's so many guys that go into games and it's, you know, 32 degrees, 28 degrees, whatever, and they can't, they don't even feel the, the weather because they're into the game, they're warmed up, they're playing, it's fine, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, I'll always go back to our spring ball. We, we started spring ball this past year um, at 6 a.m. And there's multiple times that we went out there at 6 a.m. and it's 28 degrees. And, it, you know, I mean, that's, that's pretty cold, you know, but we went out there, we warmed up, we ran around, and we're fine. Catching balls, we're running, we're doing everything. So I, it's all right up here, you know. So once we are able to beat it mentally before we walk out on the field, that's where we have to do it. So that's that's been the discussion, and we will continue to do that. We look forward to seeing your team back out on the field this Absolutely. week. Absolutely, Cougar fans. It's the final home game of the 2019 season for Coach Aubrey and the Cougars. If you can't make it to the games, you can always find all the live links at cucougars.com/slash coverage. Ryan Fahey will have the call one final time here in 2019. For head coach Jason Aubrey, I'm CJ Selner. Thank you for watching Coaches Weekly.